Hey guys, and welcome back to Lost Bits, the series where we explore the unused, altered, and unseen content in gaming. And we are back for part two of this Lost Bits saga for Poppy Playtime Chapter 2. Yeah, it really seems like we have another FNAF security breach situation on our hands here in terms of this chapter's unused content. In this video, we'll be diving deeper into a currently scrapped multiplayer mode that's found left over in the game's files. There's lots more to this chapter in terms of unused and unseen content, but I think this mode deserves its own dedicated little mini-episode. Don't worry though, the rest will be coming in the next few videos, so make sure you're subscribed to be notified as soon as they're up. Also, a really quick shout-out to my channel sponsor, GFuel. If you'd like to stock up or try out some yummy sugar-free energy, be sure to use code TETRA at checkout at gfuel.com or follow the link in the description to save up to 30% on your order. Anyways, smack that like button for a free, uh, hug from PJ Pugapillar. Let's check out some unused multiplayer Lost Bits. Alright, so it's no secret that the individual chapters for Poppy Playtime aren't very long, and although the second chapter is certainly longer than the first, it's still only about a two-ish hour experience. But what if there was something being planned that could increase replayability for this game? Well, as it's been starting to circulate around the internet lately, Chapter 2 actually contains various leftover bits and pieces of a scrapped multiplayer mode. Now, I know some bits of this have been shown off on YouTube, but there's more to it that's only been recently discovered that I don't think I've really seen anyone talk about here. And some of these unused bits have even been re-implemented, at least partially, into the game by data miner and modder Mala. So, for starters, it appears that this unused multiplayer mode was basically going to work sort of like the game Dead by Daylight. Now, if you haven't played Dead by Daylight before, basically one player plays as the monster or villain and has to hunt down and incapacitate four other players who have to complete a set of tasks to escape an area. In this case with Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, found in the files is an asset listed as a Monster Selector, and it appears that here, one player was to use this as a selection screen to choose to play as either Huggy Wuggy here or Mommy Longlegs. And then the rest of the players would be one of five differently colored Playtime co-models as they're seen in the training videos throughout the game. Orange, green, the default yellow one, blue, as well as red. And then for the gameplay, each different class of player would also have a different moveset. Huggy Wuggy would have a charge hug move, an ability to break traps that I assume the other players could put down, as well as a basic punch attack for which actually the animations are also left over unused in the game. This basic punch is also programmed to deal 25 damage points out of the 100 required to apparently down a player. Then Mommy Longlegs would be able to use a spotter ability, shoot out a spider web which currently uses a ball as a placeholder for the projectile, as well as another basic attack move just like Huggy which would also deal 25 damage points. And then lastly for the rest of the players, the moveset is much less interesting as you can just sprint, crouch, as well as use the grab pack hands. Basically just the moves you'd have playing the game normally. But the player characters also get access to some emotes that otherwise go currently unused in the game. These emotes are seen as hand gestures and were meant to be accessed by pressing certain keys on the keyboard. Pressing 1 would be a thumbs up, 2 would be a thumbs down, 3 would be an OK hand gesture, and finally, the best one, pressing the F and U keys, the player can flip the bird. Hell yeah. And just like with Huggy's slap move animations, there are also a few animations left over for these training dummy characters too. Stuff like idling and crawling around when being downed by an enemy, walking while crouched, running, walking while upright, falling, as well as these strange animations for looking up and looking down. Then, in addition to all of these models, found left over in the game's unused multiplayer folder is also this blue hand scanner, just listed as MP, hand panel, go figure, as well as this cube frame thing listed simply as win cube. Now, this cube is found in a subfolder titled Testing, so I assume the point of this win cube was to quickly win a round of the multiplayer mode to test some functionality. Then next, there are also some leftover screens meant for this multiplayer mode too. First, there is a screen that would appear when Huggy Wuggy would down a player, and it mentions that another player could revive them. 
Then next, there's this screen for when Mommy Yong Yegs, or Mommy Long Legs, I guess someone forgot to capitalize, would win the game, presumably once all players are taken down by the enemy monsters. And conversely, lastly, there's also a screen for when the players would have won the round by escaping, for which it appears they would be granted 150 points. What these points were going to be meant for isn't entirely clear. I was thinking maybe for some sort of XP system, but there's also references in the game to some cosmetic items, so perhaps these points could be, or one day will be, usable to obtain different cosmetics or emotes. Let's just hope the developers learn from the NFT debacle and they don't add microtransactions to the game. Anyways, although as of the making of this video, the multiplayer mode hasn't been modded back in to work in the game and it's only found in a very fragmented state, we can see that there's still quite a lot of work put into this mode, so I don't think this is a scrapped mode, but rather something that's still being worked on and may get implemented in a future update, maybe Chapter 3. I guess basically only time will tell, but I really do hope it does come out because this would seriously add some replayability to this game so it's not just a 2 hour or less experience. And that's about all that's been found and re-implemented for the currently unused multiplayer mode, at least for now. Just based on how much work it seems was put into this mode, I'd be really surprised if we don't see this added in a future update. Anyways, while you're here, check out my previous videos on this game if you haven't already, and make sure you're subscribed to the channel to find your way back in the future. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by, and I will see you in a bit.